high. Um, I was just looking at the rain. It doesn't rain here very much in Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. But this week, our Papua New Guinean friends, they lost their Mr. Samare. He died and he was their first prime minister and he was their father of independence. And now it's raining a lot. And I always kind of think that when you're sad, if it's raining, then, you know, it feels like the sky knows how you're feeling, right? How are you feeling? How's your quarantine? If you're quarantining, how are you missing your friends? Lots of kids can't go to school now. How are you feeling about that? I wanted to share something with you. So, um, first of all, you know what that is? <sighs> that sigh. A sigh can make you feel better. So, if you're feeling confused or upset or um, frustrated, <sighs> a sigh can make you feel real good, or at least a little bit better. And um, I was also thinking about when you're apart from people that you love and you miss them. And what I used to do is, if you can get something like, uh, maybe you pick a flower and you keep one petal that feels real nice and you give the petal for that flower to somebody else who you're missing. And then every time during the day that you feel sad because you miss them, you can reach into your pocket and feel that beautiful petal, the softness of that petal, and know that they're thinking of you at the same time. It doesn't have to be petals. Oh, oh, I'm going to show you something. Like, um, this is what I would use. Hold on. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I said don't go anywhere. Oh, no. How do you trip over something when you got no legs? Whew, I'm back. Um, so here's something. <laughs> I love dinosaurs. I don't know how you feel about dinosaurs, but I love Dinosaurs, this one's got wheels. It's really good. Anyway, um, you could put like a little toy in your pocket and that could represent the person that you're missing. And every time you touch that toy in your pocket, when you feel like you're missing them, you know that they're thinking of you too. And they could put a toy in their pocket or something in their pocket. And when they're missing you, which I'm sure they are, they can reach in and know that you're thinking of them too. Yeah. So anyway, um, I'm going to be speaking with the doctor. <laughs> Dr. Tina on Saturday, and I've got so many great questions from all of you. I mean, look at my friend Amelia here. She's so excited about her question about COVID vaccines and lollipops that she hasn't left her computer yet. Next week, we should have a poll about whether we think she gets this from her mom or her dad. So many great questions! And I'm going to ask them. So if you've got more, you can send them to me. And if you want to um, draw a picture of uh, Dr. Tina and send it to me. Remember, she's got glasses, okay? And yeah, she's a doctor. I don't know how you represent that, but you go for it. And um, just one second. Here is a present I got the other day in the mail. And it's a picture of me. So thank you, Allery Grace, for sending this to me. You're a very talented artist. I love, love, love it. So if you want to draw any pictures and get your mom and dad to send me um, a text message with it, that would be cool. I can share it with everybody, show you people how awesome your art is. Okay. Um, I hope you're doing okay. I want to say some specific shout outs and thank yous, um, and I'll do those on the next video. Okay, so um, you're doing a great job. It's a very strange time. Remember, if you're feeling stressed at all, you can Okay, have a good day. I love you. Mwah.